Good morning, good morning. It's Sunday morning. Oh, my dog. Her nails. They were just clipped out and she's digging into me. Tiana, go away. Go away. Go see daddy's got a treat. Yep, bye. <laughs> All right. Anyway, um, yes, it's been been a busy weekend. I am so glad to just be able to sit and relax and do some sewing. I had baby Raina overnight Friday and she was such a fun, 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 fun little girl to be with. Anyways, I finished this lunch box and there are two things I don't like about it. Good morning, Clint. And first of all, there's no pull tab. So you have to squeeze the bag to open the zipper. I don't like that. So the next one I make, well, next ones I make will all have pull tabs on both sides. You just pull it and it'll be easy to open and close it. Secondly, what I don't like about this is all the exposed seams. Okay, that's how they show you how to do it. Even the zipper is exposed. Um, this part here of the zipper is exposed. These are exposed. It's all raw edges here. These are raw. These are sewn in because they were flipped out. It is way too freaking bulky to sew. And for somebody with just a regular sewing machine, you are not going to be able to make this bag in this fashion in here where these two pieces joined in here this was so bulky my machine was just skipping over it i had to keep going back and forth back and forth in order to actually get it to sew down because this was just too much thickness too much bulk and I, I for life of me i i'm not one that likes to have a nice pretty bag and then you open it and there's all these freaking raw edges like look at totally raw edges so uh, over time that's gonna fray because these are raw don't like it like that the rest of it it is the shape of it is beautiful the little thing that I made to keep inside of it I mean it keeps its shape don't like that there's no pull tabs I did put this charm on it just to grip onto the zipper so we're going to do things a little differently. Um, I did learn a few things as I built this box. I mean, it's, it holds its shape beautiful. It really does. And it's a nice size. So you could fit like a whole day's worth of lunch. And not only that, look at how bulky this is. And you could see my sewing machine didn't even sew it properly because it was so thick. I even changed needles to see if maybe, you know, a juki needle would make a difference. And it did not. So, I don't know. Not I, I'm not sure why somebody would advertise to make a lunchbox with all open seams inside of it. It's beautiful. It just has to be revamped. So, we're going to do that today. So, let me show you what I'm going to do. So, I have everything cut out, ready to go. I have me some pull tabs. We're going to make pull tabs. And actually, these were just the leftover pieces I cut out here. So, these are actually perfect size. Um, this is for the plastic to go in the bottom. Now, what I'm doing here is a little different than what this is the um, straps. This is the zipper, and this will be attached to the top part, this part here, Ooh. to add the extra width that we need for the zipper. Okay, so I'm going to show you how we're going to do this. It's just going to be something a little bit different. Stop, Tiana. That hurts. So first things first. 
first things first. We don't need this right this minute. Because we're going to get these sewed on and extend our fabric with this color. So you need to cut four pieces at one and a half inches. Okay, so we're going to just go straight across here. And we're going to add this piece in here. Actually, no. Let's not do this first. Let's quilt this first. Okay, so let's put this all aside. I want to quilt it first. Because I don't want it to be the wrong size. Where is my thing? All right. So all you're going to do is take your two outer pieces and your two pieces of your thin slate. And we're going to quilt this. Okay. So let's get it pinned. You can stitch it all the way around if you want, but I don't really want to. So this should fit on here perfectly if you cut all everything properly. It should fit on here. Just line it all up and we'll stick some pins in there. And then we will draw our quilting lines and we are going to quilt this perfectly. There. All right. So, I mean, you're still going to have a little bit of thick seams, but you're not going to have anything like what was in this. This was a nightmare. And I kid you not. Okay, so I'm just going to put some pins in here to hold the in place with the, the, um, the batting. It's the same thing as a batting, only you're using an insulated batting. When it, we quilt it, we'll definitely take the pins out. <laughs> but I am sticking a lot of pins in here because when you quilt, things shift. If Especially if you don't use a walking foot. And I ain't using a walking foot. Actually, I might sew it all the way around. No, I'm not going to do that. I have to trim it anyways. All right. Just because I don't want it moving. I don't want it shifting. That's good. And we'll do the same thing here. Get it nice, straight. How you been, Clint? What's new?
click at okay now I would like to I would prefer to draw my lines on here but the pen doesn't work very good my aunt passed away last night oh I'm so sorry to hear that Clint but uh, it doesn't work the greatest there. So I'm going to do the same quilting lines because I just think they're easier. So I'm going to draw my diagonal lines starting from corner to corner. So there's one quilting line and then I'm going to go two and a half inches. So two and a half inches all the way down. I'm having two and a half inch spaces, which I, I tried a one inch space. Oh my God. That was a lot of quilting on here. So I actually just, I drew it on with my pen and I ironed it off. It was too much. So two and a two and a half inch space, I think, is perfect. It is absolutely perfect. See? It's just enough of quilting lines in here to make it good. So you gotta draw two and a half inch lines all the way in both directions. barely see that but it's there I can see it and now you flip it around and you go to the other side you don't need to do this to your lining piece. Oops. I always forget to do that corner. I don't know why. And I forget to sew it too. <laughs> I did that yesterday. That was quilting. This is a two and a half inch wide ruler, so it works out perfect for these small areas. Now, you flip it around, and you're going to draw another diagonal line from this corner to this corner. this friction pen irons right off so she's good
So was this your mom's sister, Clint? Your mom's sister, your dad's sister? I'm really sorry to hear that. That is sad. All right, that's done. And you want to do this to both pieces. So if you're going to quilt it in this manner, you want to do two and a half inches, I'll tell you. And it looks nice. She was young. Goodness. Okay, so there's our quilting. Pretty, pretty. That's the lines you're going to see. Or I'll probably not see it very good, but they're there, my line. do it to both sides now you can do an all over meander on this you can do whatever kind of quilting you want i just want these straight lines because i think it gives it that lunchbox look <laughs> i don't know I think it gives it a nice lunchbox look. Ouch. Pin. Kiki's happy. He loves his new cage. Hi, Martha. All right.
one more side left. And then we will sew these quilting lines. And then we will sew all, all, all around the edge. Or I'll just trim it. I don't know yet. I think sewing around the edge might help keep it all in place when I'm trying to do this new technique. There's nothing worse than opening up a bag and having exposed seams. I'm like, is this for real? This is the finishing of this. This is how it's going to stay with an opened end of zipper. Like even a, a, a newbie quil, uh, sewer would be like, why would you make it like this? I don't know. There's no other way. It shows you to finish it. The tutorial does on her YouTube channel, does not finish it um, any other way. It's exactly the way I put it together, and I don't like it. I do not like it. I never make anything with open seams inside. I always have a lining that hides it. So, I mean, it's a, a much more, I'm going to be honest, it's going to be a much more complicated way to do this. However, the end result is going to be much more worth looking at your bag than looking at that inside like that that just that just floored me we're a professional company that does you know makings of stuff like this why in the god's green earth would they leave these ends all raw i don't get it like i mean <coughs> let me show you some no zipper pulls the worst part is, is this, this part here, this is the worst. Uh, these ends here after washing, all of this is eventually just going to fray. And that is your zipper end. There's no other way to do it. I'm, I'm like, I'm down, I'm dumbfounded by this. To me, I don't even find this very secure. So I don't know. We're going to do it my way. I'm going to do it my way. I mean, I love this lunchbox, though. It is pretty, pretty. So I'm just going to kind of keep this for someone. I could never sell a bag like this with all those raw edges inside. They'd be like, what kind of sewer are you? You know what I mean? Like, I could never sell this at my craft fair. All right. We are going to sew on a two and a half inch quilting. We're going to quilt this on two and a half inch. Stitch width, length. Oh, look at that. I'm not going to stay like that. All right, let's go back here. Get my foot pedal. So be mindful. You have a lot of pins. Pull them out as you go. So when I quilt lines, the best thing to do, and this is the God spoken truth, is go down one way, go up the next, back and forth, trade it. If you tend to put it all in one direction, your sewing lines, uh, it's going to all stretch to one one side. You're going to, if you do it, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. So if I were you, I would go down one, up the other. 
to keep it nice and straight. Exactly how you pinned it. So you can see, I take my fabric out, I finished here, I'm going to start there. And I'm going to flip this around, and I'll finish off this piece here. Okay. Pull that off. Now we're going to go on the other side. And we're going to go down this way. Yes, there's a lot of threads to trim off, but I don't care they get cut off when I trim this. I allowed an extra half an inch for um, now we're gonna flip this out and we're gonna go down the very middle of the on this direction. see a corner I missed on the other side. So let's come back, pull this out, do this corner. I'm really bad at missing the corners. All right, let's go back to what we were doing here. <clears throat> oh, it's done over here. Now we need to go down this side here. So that one doesn't need to get done. Yes, Martha, the ruby touch. It's got to have the ruby touch. <coughs> I wouldn't say the way I'm doing it is really harder. It's not, if the, there's one part section in that will be a little bit harder, but it's really just a little bit more time consuming than the way they got you fluffing. I mean, of course, if you're having all exposed seams, nothing to it, sew it together and it's done. This is a more professional and a more finished way that I would like to do this. All right, so this corner piece, I don't care about this. Let me just make sure I have it all quilted. All right, let's see if I missed any corners. These are, <laughs> I usually do miss the corners. All right, so that is fully quilted. You can see the quilting lines on the back. 
I think it looks nice like this. I, I like this quilting. I like the crisscross. Like I said, it gives it a more picnic lunch back lunch box kind of quilting. Okay. So that piece is done. Let's get on to this other big piece. Martha, do you want to come in? So here we've got pins again. But I'm going with a wide, it's a wide stitch. So, you know, it's almost three. It's almost at three for the quilting process. And then I'll turn my stitch length down. One on, I think I ran out of breath. Yep, I think I did. Sure did. Yep. Ran out of thread. Okay. It is empty. Forgot to show you my strapping that came in. Remember the problem I had with that? I'll show you guys what I what I got, what came in. Why is this stuck in there? Let's just pull this out. There we go. Okay, I'll send you a link, and then I'll show them what I what I ordered off of Amazon. <clears throat> what what made these straps a lot more life? Oh my god! Oh, when I got that in, I was like, oh my god, this is perfect! I was super pumped about it. So I went in my room right away, <laughs> and I I used this stuff. Oh my gosh! I'm gonna give you a link for it below um where are you all right sent it to you ma'am and i'll wait a minute for you to see if you come in okay so Now, the strapping that comes in your kit is so thick that if you hit this, if you hit this, hi, Martha. Good morning. If you hit this shit with your needle and the thicknesses of two, four pieces of fabric, because you're going to hit seams where you seamed your thing. Anyway, this I ordered was super cheap. And look at this. And what? Look at the difference in the thickness. This is very flimsy. This is very thick. So let me just show you the difference. Yeah. Yeah. So when I sewed the straps, I was like, wow. I had no issues whatsoever. No skip stitches. No nothing. So, I mean, of course, it's not super uh, thick like this, but this here strapping, these, these handles will never pull out or break. So I got a 50 yard roll. I think this was 20 bucks, $19. And it's called, I'll give, I'll put a link below my video. I wish I knew how to do my Amazon associate account. And then I would get a little bit of credit for these, but I don't know how to do it. I'm, I'm, Good morning, Nan. Hi, Nan. I'm just lost. So anyway, that's a 50-yard roll at three-quarters of an inch, which is 25 
or 20 millimeter. I don't remember what it's listed on the, it's in a metric. But I checked the metric and it's exactly the same size. This is a three quarter inch piece. So you can see it's not quite a full inch. It's a three quarter inch. So we'll, um, we'll be using this and I'll order another one if I get low on it. All right. Back to sewing this where I ran out of thread, which was right here in the middle of that one. All right. This stuff's going to be in my way. Aren't these lunch boxes cute? Yeah. They'd be cuter if they had hidden seams. Hang out, hang out, hang out, pins. Oh, I gotta take these out soon. Get rid of them. Lots of pins. So, did you see my dilemma with the raw edges? With the what? The raw edges. Uh, no, I did not. Okay, I'm gonna re-show it anyway because I showed it kind of early on in my video. Nobody probably saw it yet. On what video? <laughs> I showed it at the beginning. Oh what the inside of this bag looked like and it has a lot of raw edges raw edges are not good when it comes to sewing no 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 no. i agree i totally agree i just think it looks horrible inside ouch dang it get rid of these pants the sooner the better Oh, see, I forgot to sew that. I got to put a pin there just so I remember to do it. Nan wants to know if that's a finished lunchbox. Yes, I'm going to show it. And I'm going to show you two things that are wrong with it. I followed the instructions perfectly like they did show on the video and in the instruction sheet. Oh, shoot. And I'm going to show you guys two things that are absolutely wrong with it, that are not uh, not my uh, up to my par, that's for sure. And I don't think they'd be up to anyone else's. Now what I'm doing is I'm just quilting the top piece and the insulate batting, the um, thin slate batting, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, Insulbrite thermal batting because it is thermal. I'm just doing the two layers. I do not have my lining in here. My lining will not be quilted. And then wants to know what the size I knows. Okay, she'll have to wait a second here. Why did it do that? Why did my bobbin do that? Do 
wrap around to put this on. Was it over here? Yes, it was here. So I'm going to restitch that. Because I don't know why my bobbin did not. Oh, something's stuck. That's why it did that. So this is right here. started to pull. We'll just stitch over it and fix it. Haven't I done it? Down here on the sides. My neighbor drives me nuts with those motorcycles. The young kid just grabs them off. Oh, Nan's watching you on the big screen. Who is? Nan. Oh, nice. That means you can see everything I'm doing pretty good on the big screen. Yeah, I, she's like I can see a whole lot better of what you are doing. <laughs> the only thing is, is when I watch live streams on the TV, I can't chat. I have to go on my phone to chat. Because you can't chat on the TV screen. Now, did I get all these corners, even the one I missed with the pin? That one's good. Nope, that one I did not get. Right here. This one got missed. That was probably the one I had the pin in. How far apart did you make them? Two and a half inches. So, they're two and a half inch quilting lines. Lots of threads to trim. Oops. Um, I just turn it over to check to see if I've missed anywhere. And it looks like I did not. So you can see the quilting lines in it, right? Okay, so at the beginning of my video, I showed two things that are wrong with this design. Number one is there is no pull tabs. You see? There's nothing. And look, raw edges. There's no pull tabs. You have to pinch the bag here to pull the zipper open and same with when you go to close it you got to pinch the bag to close it oh that's just okay. cut too much time right so what i did is i created two pull tabs for this one here and actually i cut them let me show you i cut them where are they they're right here these pieces came out of this area here so I'm just using these scraps for the cool. two tabs. That's it. The other thing that I do not absolutely like is all the raw edges in here. It's all about raw edges. Okay. okay, right? And it's so thick and so bulky to create the bag like this that your stitching isn't even going to, no matter what stitch length I put this on, look at how this is going to start pulling away. It, it's already pulling away. And all these raw edges. It's just not good. So I'm making this bag with absolutely no raw edges. The lining piece here 
will not be quilted, but it will line the inside of the bag with no holes in it. Now I found when I put an ice pack in here yesterday, just to check this out, I found where the air escapes the most to, to get your cool air out is in all these stitching lines. So if I just put the lining inside, show you how to do that. It's tricky, but we will do it. It's doable for sure. Um, you, you won't have so much gaps wherever your needle poked into this. Do you know what I'm saying? Where the needle poked in here and made these quilting lines, it created a hole. So if we do the lining with no holes in it, the only thing that it's really going to be is the seams. And those aren't going to uh, do anything. So that's, that's this here raw edge stuff. It, it, this does not suit me. <clears throat> this is horrible. I don't like this. This is uh, and you can't cut these seams. They're super thick. They're half inch thick because they're sewed. Remember, we sewed them and flipped them in, and you know, no. So this is not my idea of how I want to quilt this or make this bag. It's beautiful. I love this, the structure of it. I just don't like the fact that there's no pull tabs. So you got to pinch there just to get it to close. I mean, it's if you wanted to be lazy and do an easy peasy put together box, there, that's your idea. But have fun with all those exposed seams. Not my not my idea at all. So it is pretty though. See the structure of it, and it's quite large. Um, the instructions do tell you, let me see, the finish size of this. It is 10 inch by 6 inch by 7 inch. So 7 inches, 10 inches long, and, and uh, 6 inches up. Okay? So roughly. That's well, if you want to take a thermos, you can always add 10 inches onto the length. Yeah, it is 6 inches this way. You can actually make this as big as you want. You don't have to follow, but you've got to remember this zipper piece was accounted for in this measurement here. So you've got to pay attention to these zip zippity do done zippers. Morning, so Tracy, good morning. So yeah. So the finished bag is approximately 10 by six by seven. It, it is because I got a seven inch piece in there. So it's, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. And one, two, three, four, five, and five. It is 10 inches. So the finished bag is nice size. Like I'm telling you, that's going to hold a lot of lunch plus your ice pack in there. I highly suggest to put your ice pack in a Ziploc bag that's not leakable. So it doesn't leak because they have moisture on them. And you don't want to put the moisture in your bag every day when you're taking your lunch or having a little picnic or whatever it is you're, you're doing. You, you want to kind of put your, your ice pack into a Ziploc, keep it nice and secure in that bag. It'll keep your whole lunch cold if you do it my way. If you do it this way, I'm not going to even stress again. These quilting lines poke holes in all through all the layers of the fabric. So that exactly means you are getting air in every single one of those holes you poked by making the quilting lines. Okay. Keep that in mind. All right. Let's get back to this. All right. So I that, know um, silver material that you can buy for pot holders and stuff like that would be a very good lining. That's what's but, in here, Martha. Oh. Yes. It's called Insubrite. You see? It's got the silver. That's what you have to use. See? You can see the silver in it. That ain't what I was talking about. This is for pot holders and, and everything. No, there's one that's like metallic silver. Oh, 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 yeah. No, this is actually... But this... I can't remember if that was also quilted or not. Yeah. Yeah. That's probably much more expensive, but this stuff here is, is really nice and it's easy to work with. It's nice. And, and that's, is that kind of waterproof, the shiny part? Um, I'm not sure. All I know is it's called Finsel Bright, Finsel Bright. 
and it keeps food hot, keeps things cold. That's what the bag says. I'll get a bag and show you in a bit. Okay. Cool. Let's turn the iron to medium so I can iron out all these lines I made. And let's get trimming off all these threads now because we are going to trim this down to its rightful size. I'm going to leave a quarter of an inch all the way around because I don't need the extra length anymore because now it's close. So I'm just removing all these extra threads that I put on here when I was. This is all going to get trimmed off. So when I cut my pattern out, I cut it a half an inch bigger all the way around. But I do not have to do that now. So that's why I'm going to be trimming all of this off. I don't want the extra. I don't need the extra. I'm just trimming. I just don't want all these threads in here. I'm kind of like a neat freak and I don't like all these excess threads. Even though it's the inside of the bag, who cares, right? I care. All right. So that piece is ready to get trimmed again. We'll do the same with this one. Just kind of push all your threads out. So you'll get them all cut off. And I don't think there's any really... I didn't start anywhere in the middle here, so, yeah. All right, so let's iron off our lines. Get rid of the lines. So now it looks nice and neat. You can't see where I drew my coaching lines. And I'm using medium heat. I don't know why they tell you to use medium heat when you're supposed to be able to pick hot stuff up with these but you just need to iron all your lines you had drawn off so there you go ironed nicely so i like the magic of these friction pins I really do. <laughs> Here and gone. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these two pieces together like so because we're going to be trying them supposed to go to a open house today but what's open house for a graduation open house oh nice are you going i don't know i ain't got no cash on me okay i don't even know the girl Oh. I only know her mother. Oh. I'm just pinning these so the layers don't move when I go to cut it out. Now, we need the lining for it as well because we need to trim the lining down to exact same size as the outer bag. So we'll lay that lining up here. Line it all up and cut this down to size. Now, where is it? Through all the layers. And then I'll put my pin my pattern back on top. And I'll cut out exactly size of my pattern. I probably shouldn't have pinned it. Do 
just don't want to get close to where I'm going to be. Did I put a pin in there? Here. And I think the only reason they get you to cut it bigger is for quilting because quilting kind of, I don't know, just starts it a little bit, I would think. So where's my pattern? Now, the latest pattern back on it here. And we're going to retrim this out. So we have the same size, all those yucky edges, the mist, um, the mist edges where it doesn't look like they match up. Everything's going to get fixed. Now this one here is identical to the size of the their boot on their back. Paper. Trim it all off. La 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 This part here, I'm just going to cut this with my scissors because every time I use my rotary cutter, I always cut in to the, the section and I don't want to do that. So we'll just cut with scissors, make it nice and perfect. Man, am I working on anything crafting? No, I am not. I have been working on my kitchen. How's that going? It got so warm in here yesterday. I had to quit until about 8.30 last night. Got in there and sanded the wall. Yeah. Um, I got to recheck my sanding. I'll rinse it down and get the holes filled up and let that dry. Sand it. And then I got to check my paint. 
but last night I was sitting here thinking, geez, I should work on something here. And it's like, oh, that necklace I got that Kim gave me fell apart. So I got to rework that. Oh, dear. Someone gave you a necklace and it fell apart? Well, I went to cut a thread and it, it was a little more thread than I should have cut. Oh. <laughs> but it's like an Indian necklace. It's it's really pretty. Mm. I believe I picked up all the seed beads from the floor, I hope. Yeah, Dan, I'm hoping to get it done very soon. There. I took down the blind off the kitchen window and the sun's just peering right through it. It's like I knew I should have left that bugger on there. There, now look how nice and neat after quilting it. All the cucky edges are gone. Who? Oop. Oop. Oh, okay, hang on. Martha. What? Can you take over for a minute? My aunt's on the phone and I have to go talk to her. Okay. So. Okay. I'm going to put it on you. You can show your beautiful thing. Beautiful what? I have absolutely nothing to show. Your necklace. The one I got to repair, it's in the other room. Then she gave me... Huh? Whatever. But then she gave me a pair of earrings that she bought for me. And by golly, George, that fell apart. See, there's a couple missing right there and there, and it fell apart there. It's like, why is people give me stuff that fall apart? But I can show you this. This is, I had an order. I don't know if I showed you before or not. Of a necklace, oh, earrings, and a bracelet. This is what I've done. Oh, that's an earring. No wonder it looked funny. <laughs> There's the earring. There's the necklace. That per day, it's all done in purples. And the bracelet went a little uh, beyond my comfort zone. Oh, I feel all fumbly fingers today. Is I did a three strand. It turned out all right. A little on the different side, but it all looks blue in there, don't it? These are purples and crystals and yeah. That was the last thing I really was working on. In the craft room right now, I am working on my neighbor up north. Um, yes, I made it, Nan. I made it. That is bead embroidery. It's all bead embroidery, and I love doing bead embroidery it's so much fun your mind can there's no limit to your mind on how to make these no limit so um she you know I, bleh, bleh, september 11th is her birthday oh my god i even brushed my hair i look terrible um and it's like well if i go up there up to my cabin, I can check and make sure I got enough antifreeze. So it's like, what can I do for her for her birthday? So thank you, Crystal Castle, for giving me two butterflies. So now I am uh, Mandela dotting two butterflies for her. 
I got one done. I'm working on the other one. But as far as that, it's the kitchen. <laughs> it's the kitchen. That's about pretty much all I am doing. I wanted to get in there and make sure my wall was all done today. Fill holes. Let that dry. Sand that off. And part of the wall that was covered up. Is now open. So I'm hoping that the paint I got. That's still good. Has got the primer in it. To cover up that wall. Because it was a. A printed vinyl on uh, lost words. I'm not awake yet, I guess. Um, paneling, and it's like the old mauve and blues, like the old country colors. Gag me. Mm -mm. So I gotta paint all that up and over and. Oh, the boards I got over there. I still have, I got to take one back and have Home Depot cut a three by three for me. Get a new blades for my jigsaw because I have to cut out the corners for the counters. Get that glued up. I got a metal piece to put on there. Get that glued and cut. I still got to order my backsplash. And I've been thinking whether I want to do the black grout, gray grout, or no grout. And with the metal that I got, which is copper, it's going to be a copper backsplash behind the stove. Um, I think I'm going to just go with the white grout. I don't like gray. Black would be too... Mm, I think so. Yeah. I went and got my connector for the gas line for the stove. So yesterday was what? Five weeks I've had a stove and not been able to use it. Yeah, I'm going to go with all the white. All white. It's going to be subway tiles. Just something to make me feel happy, you know, just. Because I'm not getting my other stuff done that I really, really need, which is my shed. And I want to do my bathroom. I want a taller toilet because these knees are not handling that short little thing. <laughs> so. Yeah, just, you know. Things that go through your brain and you decide to tear it apart. I hope so, Nan. I hope it'll look nice. I really do. I really do. Which I should have been in there before I come on here and checked my wall and got it plugged up and stuff good morning castle it's a crystal i hope today is not going to be as hot as it was yesterday because all i could do was sit here with the wall unit on right there and be cool it was so warm yesterday I have a tall toilet and the lid closes by itself. Oh, how nice. That's nice. Yeah. Are they very expensive? I went to Menards months ago and looked at their toilets and then I looked at the ones at Home Depot and 
I'm glad I didn't buy the vanity because I have not found anybody to come install anything. Okay, here we go. I bought a new range hood too. I got that before the stove, I believe. 77, ooh, humidity. Yuck. Um, so a friend come over and he finally got the gas line off for me. I mean, I tried everything. Hammer it. But he just went and took it off. But so I must have loosened it. <laughs> um, so anyway, the reason why I tore the back off. Let's see. Maybe I can show you through here. I'll show you the back of the wall. I've I've took some more of the board. Oh, wrong way. I took more of the board off. Okay. That's the back. And that's the vent. Well, on the outside of the vent is a great big old hornet's nest. I got a hold of one of the guys at Mobile Home Repairs. He come over and he was going to re take all the ceiling off sealant caulking off and put new caulking on well we found the bird, the bee's nest the hornet's nest and he told the girl he says go get the hornet spray so we went down to the back door to look at that because it does leak and she went and sprayed all the way around which leaves a film on the skirting, or they call it the skin. So now I have to go out there, wash with soap and water, get all that film off. Oh, no, that's not good. Yeah, it's a pain. She just cost me like a whole three days of work. Damn. Plus the guys that did my yard screwed up my skirting so now i gotta go in there and put my skirting back up where it needs to go but okay at the beginning of my video i'll go put it back on me here i showed some of the things that i had right, man. we cut so to make up for that zipper i cut four pieces of the leftover fabric at one and a half inch piece and those are going to go across the top here to extend this to make up for that piece of zipper. Did you get what I mean? Anyway, we're going to sew this on each piece onto one piece at a time. So you'll see. I'm doing oh, Castle, I like it. Hi, Crystal. is I'm pretending I'm making that zipper cover, right? Well, I'm not really pretending because that's basically what I am doing as I'm making the zipper cover. So we'll just fold this out. I probably should have sewed this at a half an inch because I'm not going to be putting my fabric in. Yes, so let me fix this. I'm going to sew this at a half an inch because then this piece, when I fold it over here, let me see. Oh. Okay. Nope, we're going to leave it. So you have to sew this to your lining as well. So we can get that box effect. 
So I have a little confession to make. Yesterday we went to my daughter's for her birthday and it was like um, a pool party and a barbecue and, and I got drunk. God, did I get drunk. <laughs> I got drunk. <laughs> Can you believe that? I was hammered. Um, oh my God. I did not feel so well when I got home. We got home at like 8.30, just in time to give Tia her shot, put the dogs out, and go to bed. I woke up like 20 times through the night so thirsty, so finally I took a Pepsi Complete and two Tylenols, because <laughs> I was not feeling that great through the night. My belly ached, everything just hurt. I'm not a drinker. But anyway, <laughs> I felt fine this morning when I got up after finally getting back to sleep. I woke up at 3 o'clock. I didn't get back to sleep till 4. I couldn't fall back asleep. I just wanted to go back to sleep. I was so tired. And I wanted to wear off that alcohol. <laughs> so, yeah, I got hammered. Me and Jack were in the pool all day long with my grandson. My girl went in there. And I was just having drink after drink, but my son-in-law was making my drinks. And he made them extra strong. So by the time the third or fourth drink, the third one, I didn't even know how much alcohol was in it anymore. He's going to take it. Oh my God, but we had so much fun. Oh my God. And my kids took videos of me to blackmail me with them. I know they're going to blackmail me of me and Jeff in the pool playing with the kids, Chase. And... <laughs> yes. Hi, Shark. I changed my mind. For a bit. So yeah, we had a we had a good time. So that was um quite the fun time, <laughs> I have to admit. Okay, so now we want to press all of these open, and we can only use medium heat. So not open. We just want to press them because we want them flat. Yes. And then we will trim this off so it's the same size. Oh my God, look at how my bobbin sewed. What the ever living heck is that? Holy cow. Did it do it on all of them? It did. Oh my gosh. I gotta re sew this. Oh my god. I gotta check and see what the hell's going on with my bobbin now. <sighs> oh, gee, Louise. And I shouldn't have been sewing a fast stitch. What is going on with this machine? Give it a bit of a clean, but I really don't think that's it, because this was just clean. I don't know. That, that's pretty bad. It's This one sewed okay. This one did not. I don't know what's 
going on with my machine. It's just not been cooperating. It might need to go in and get a service. It's hard to tell. I gotta get a scrap piece because I can't tell if it's sewn properly or not. So let me just grab a scrap piece of brown here because I'll be able to see it. out of this. Or is it just my imagination? I don't know. Might be my imagination. Okay, so this one I said so good, right? These two pieces did not. It's not sewing. Jeez. Okay, I'm just going to re-thread this whole thing. I don't know what's going on with this thing. It's starting to piss me off. need to take it in to be serviced. Hey, Sean. How are you? Oh my God, much better. Oh, perfect. Rather than rip all that out, I'll just sew over top of it. But mm. it did not sew properly, Martha. We'll get it together there, everybody. And I'm going to re-sew this one just because this one I stitched at a number three stitch. And I set it to one and a half, so the stitches are too big. So if it pulls tight, you'll see the stitching. That's meant for like a top stitch, quilting stitch, not, not to sew.
we are good now. Now we can iron them. Now it'll be nice and good. Neighbors are leaving. Huh? Said the neighbors are leaving. Can you hear the car? No. Good. No, I can't hear that. You always ask if we can hear that, and I never, not even when we were in Hangout, I never heard your neighbors. All right. Get this done. Probably gone to go get lunch. Oh, they don't cook? I'm I'm beginning to wonder. <laughs> <laughs> well, there are people like that, like my neighbors across the street from me. I swear they never cook. They eat out all the time. Do you know that ripping is called frogging? Oh, it is? And she says, you know why? No, I do not, Nan. Why? Tell us why, Nan. Because it goes, rip it, rip it. Rip it, rip it, rip it. <laughs> Makes sense. Well, I don't know. She didn't say yet, but that's what I was thinking. Rip it, rip it. Rip it, rip it, yes. I think I heard that before. To, I think uh, Missouri Star Quilt Company, the lady that does the tutorials, I think she said that once on her show. Pretty sure it's what I heard it before. Come to think of it. No, we got it. Rip it, rip it. Nan says we use that term on cross stitching. Oh yeah. I hate ripping out cross stitching. Oh, me too. <laughs> and you only missed one square and you gotta rip out 30 of them. The whole pattern right off. One yeah. stupid square. Yep, it does. Not good. All right, this part's done. I'm going to make my little pull tabs after this. So those are done. And then we're going to sew these to the zipper right shortly here. But like I said, my lining will be separate just because it'll have everything hidden. So what you're going to do, just take your piece here. Well, when it comes to cross stitching, I'd call it something a whole lot different. <laughs> One, two, three. Um, Isn't that the good way? I don't really think we need it this wide. So I'm going to trim these down to Two and, two and a half inch. Yeah. We don't need it that wide. That's oh, she cut the deer head off, man. Oh, you ain't going to see it anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So let's sew down this. 
at a quarter of an inch. Or you can just use your your handle material and make a loop. That way you can put your finger through it to unzip it. Or you could just use strapping. You could just use the strapping on it. But I don't want any raw kind of looking stuff. So I'm just going to make these. They're going to be hard to turn out. But who cares? I'm all for fun. Hard. This is when a dowel, actually this will work too. You know what? Let's sew this shut. It will be easier. I think that's what this is made for. To be honest. All right, push that back out. Because I really don't care about these corners because these get sewed in in the raw side. So we'll just cut it off. Yeah, these are too long anyway. want them sticking out too far like I just want little something something to hold on to when you're opening up the zipper so there we go You're very good very good yeah so those are done we should iron them <laughs> they're kind of crappy like that we're going to top stitch them because if you don't top stitch them they'll separate on you let's do a little copy stitch how you're not going to see the deer anyway, Martha? <laughs> yeah. Too tiny. Too tiny. Yeah. There's our little pull tabs. Make them whatever size you want. I'll probably even stitch them in more and trim them off after they're stitched in. But that's, that's me pulled out. All right. 
So let's set those off to the side here. Now, next, where's our zipper? Let's do our zipper. So I've got the zipper side up. Let's see how we're going to do this. We're going to sew this. Actually, let me put my lining piece. Make sure it's pretty side up. my zipper on here like so. Anymore. Actually, I can't put one there right now because I have to mark some things. All right, so we have pretty side up, pretty side down. So what you want to do is match up your backing, your lining, and this piece to your zipper, and then pin it like so. I just like using wonder clips for this, so it's not a big deal deal. All right, now here's the trick. Get your ruler. I'm going to get a white marking pencil because I can't see any color on the brown. And what we're going to do is why is this not matching up it should match up perfectly for now because i got a rain on okay so from this edge in, you're going to measure a half an inch from the edge, not the zipper, from the edge, and you're going to mark a half an inch. Okay? So there's my half inch mark. You're going to do the same thing over here. You're going to mark half an inch from the edge. That's that. Now, you're going to start stitching at that half inch mark. You're not going to start stitching here. Start stitching at the half inch mark. Okay. I really like these pencils that came in our so sampler box by Clover. They came in white, pink, and blue couple of months ago actually and they're made by clover are they a chalk pencil or what no they are a water um Sorry. water soluble so these came in here so sampler but I'm, I'm sure these are available they're called clover water soluble pencils and they come in a three pack so you've got white blue and pink and i have the black friction pin to use on you know like the light colors and stuff yeah yeah all right, guys. Sweet. So, Martha, you missed my confession. No, I actually was going into the other room, and I heard something, and I come back, and you got drunk. Yes, I did. 
right. what did you drink? Rum and Coke. And what, you only had one? No. <laughs> I drank a whole Mickey. Ooh. Yeah. That was my son-in-law mixing my drinks for me. Okay, so I'm sewing. And make sure you backstitch in that area. So I'm sewing quarter inch. Being very mindful that this does not slip. One day I need to get you in a hangout and have some cocktails together. Oh, we had so much fun. Jeff and I got drunk. <laughs> we were in the pool all day. It was a good day for it. It was so freaking hot yesterday. Not here. It wasn't super hot. It was here. Okay, so you're going to sew to that marked line, not past it. And you're going to put a, a back stitch in there. Okay? And that's that. Okay? This part's done. We'll trim that zipper after it's sewed in because we need to make sure we don't lose our zipper when we take it off. So when we open this up, we have one part of our zipper sewed in. And this part here will get ironed, of course, and top stitched. But I am not going to top stitch it till I put my brown thread on to make my handles because I don't want I don't want this top stitched in white. I want it to be brown. All right. So now you're going to flip it around this way. You're going to put your brown fabric underneath. Pretty side there. Right? Let me see. Yes. Same thing. Pretty side. But you're going to line up all your edges here, making sure they are all lined up with each other. All right. Here. I'm just going to go along here, put some clips on. So this is the harder way of doing it, but this is worth it, believe me. Unless you like that exposed zipper in there, exposed seams. And you'll see why we have to leave that half inch on both sides. It's very, very important you leave that half inch. Very, very important. All right, that's done. Now, pretty side to this. Now you're going to line this up over here and line it up with your brown backing or whatever backing you're using your lining. I'm going to stick a pin here. It'll just be easier for me to draw a line. I'm just going to take that clip out for now. And I've got to do the same thing over here. Ow. So I get poked by the pin, of course. And over here. Just draw it. It's just to help us intact like we're not stitching our, our seam shut all right sew it up sew it up 
loop and you're going to start at that white line or whatever line quarter inch in and you're going to back stitch and you could see I didn't have to use my zipper clip for this. I will have to use my zipper foot for top stitching because I want to get close to the edge of the zipper and I can't with this. Stitch to there, back stitch. Working with this, so I'm getting all right. So there's our extra. See our extra stuff in there. So let's open this up now. Look at this as opposed to this one is inside. And the zipper is completely hidden inside between the lining and the design fabric. In the box, where is that pouch? Inside here, your zipper is not hidden in the way they tell you to do it. Your zipper is exposed. I do not like that. That is not my idea of sewing in a zipper. So, no thank you. I did not that's, like, that's awesome, Ruby. I did not like this either with no pull tabs. It's a pain, it really is. So let's just make sure that when we sew these two pieces together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a clip in here because this is the part I need to check is when this gets sewed <coughs> open when this gets sewed let's just do this to here this needs to line up with this so we have to make sure these line up with this zipper. I'm going to check to see how much of a seam we have to take. Right in here. This is very, very important. Not going to be much. It's going to be a quarter of an inch. And then this will fit nicely across here. Yesterday. This is why I'm checking this. When I made this bag yesterday, I followed their instructions, everything. When I finished sewing this up, the bottom, which is this piece, as you can see, I sewed their half inch like they said to do. I had to take that out because when I went to line my zipper up after this bottom piece was sewed, when I lined this part up, I didn't have enough room. There was a, uh, this here piece was too short. And I had to take this whole thing out and only sew it an eighth of an inch. That's how much it was short. So that's why I'm going and double checking that before I actually sew it, that it's going to match up. And I'm not going to have any issues like I did yesterday. I want all of these to match up perfectly. All righty. Other than a lunchbox, that makes a pretty nice little traveling bag for your crafts or your crochet or... Oh, yeah. Yeah, it does. Okay. Cross-stitch, Nan. We know we know we got to sew this only a quarter of an inch. And what's really nice is, guys, look at how little bulk is in here now. Although I do have to put my straps in before we go any further. The straps have to go in before you sew this. So I want to get it ironed, so... But you're not going to sew your strap to your lining. It's Nan asks, is that info from the pattern incorrect? 
okay, it's not incorrect, Nan, to them, but it's not good for me. It's not something I want to do ever again. I don't like the raw edges, all the exposed raw edges, and I don't like it that it doesn't have a pull tab because it makes it hard to open and close your bag. you got to squeeze the side of your bag to actually open it and close it. Look at how beautiful this is going to be. I mean, it's the same, it's the same thing, except on the inside, your zipper is gone. It's hidden. Yeah. It's in between. Well, way you should be doing this. So it, I think her her method was just an easy method to just, you know, we'll talk stitch this when I get to make this strap. It was just an easy peasy method to put the bag together very quickly. And of course, yeah, this is a little bit longer, but it's worth it, guys. This is going to be so much bigger. And so much more professionally looking finished. So, you know, it's entirely up to you how you make your bag. I'm just giving you guys another option and a more, a, a, a better option, to be honest. A much better option so make sure you get those half inches and it doesn't i don't even have to remove those marks because see why because they don't matter they're inside so this is how the top part of your bag is look at how finished off and professional that looks you want to do it their way by all means you can and plus your whole zipper will eventually all be sewed in anyways. And I've got no no um, fabric catching my zipper as I open and close it, you see. The other way, it's way too close. So, all right, let's get making these cute straps. And when we sew the straps on, they're only going to go on your, your piece here, this piece here, okay? They're only going to go on this piece. But I'll, I'll move my camera so you guys can see what I'm doing. All right. Let's just move this out of the way. I don't want to kind of mess it all up and distort it. I have to go pee, guys. I want to go pee. Really bad. I've been drinking all morning. Nope. We want to go this way so you guys can see the making of my strap and how I do it now. I'm going to have to get some thread or thread, some water in my thing. Can you guys see okay when I come back? Or yep, I can see fine. Running to the potty quick. All right. Intermission, people. It's intermission. Yep. Close it away. I hope I don't run out of brown thread. So I if I did by chance go to this open house, mm -hmm. it's literally right around the corner. Literally. I don't know. I have to go see if I have money. I don't have any card. I don't think. I don't know whether she, I think she's graduated from a college, maybe. I don't know what it's for. Hmm.
She didn't graduate from college. From high school. Damn, that's really late to have an open house. Huh. Yeah, snacks. I'm thinking lunch. Could you bring a small jewelry gift and a homemade card? Well, it'd probably take me about an hour to make a card. That's 12. That'd be 1. Starts at 2. I don't know. I don't know her colors. Got a pair of earrings laying right here, too. They're red, white, black, and gold. And I don't know if she wears jewelry. You know, though. Easy and simple. Yeah, right. Sitting here on with Ruby, I sure ain't getting nothing done in the kitchen now, am I? Nope, nope, nope. Oh, burgers, fries, pizza. Mmm. Oh, and then they got food on the TV. Mmm. Okay. Okay. Iron time. But I am going to need water in that damn iron. Did you hear us in here? No. We heard you in there. Oh. <laughs> what did you hear? That was an old joke. Oh. An old, old joke. Oh. Whoops. A little over full. That's okay. Nothing serious. Could go wrong with that. All right, I already got all my stuff wraps ready. We're right here. Let's not burn that. This ironing board. Okay, so now, oh, also, I extended my straps by four inches. I'll tell you why. I found this. When this bag is full, these straps are too short. You see that? So I extended it by four inches. So what I did is I cut instead of 18 inches long when it's folded in half, I cut it 20 inches long. So that extends it two inches here and two inches here. So four, four inches. So it's a little longer, but it's, I think it's more, more convenient to hold especially you know if it's for a man they got bigger hands you know and these are just little things that i found making this that i did not care for the short handles the no pull zipper the no zipper pull all those exposed that the part is disturbs me the most is all those exposed seams not not thrilled at all about that 
so we'll fix it. We will definitely, definitely fix it. So now we need to fold this down one inch. Where is that ruler? My ruler. Um, actually, no. Actually? Actually, no. We don't have to do that. I'm not doing that. I'm just going to fold this in about seven eighths of an inch because it'll be, oops, about seven eighths. Yeah, not back, black on black. It's brown. It's brown? It's brown. Well, it looks black here. Yeah, it's brown fabric. Yeah, it looks black in the screen now. So you just want to fold it about that much. Not very picky. It's just a, ouch, it's just a strap. Ow! hot and then you're going to do the same on this side fold it in about seven eighths of an inch not quite about an eighth of an inch away from the fold okay where's my rubber fingers that hurts Wait. hot 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 yes very hot No more burning purple things. too of course yes purple and these are to protect and your they fingers. fit from there's even another one but i don't think i'll need it the ones you get at the dollar store are way too darn big for anybody's fingers oh they sell them at the dollar store yeah three pink ones you get i think three pink well these protect your fingers from heat these came in my so sampler box last month I really like them. They got grip on them. So now I could go right to the edge and not burn my finger. And then we will fold this in half, making sure it lines up. That would be a good job. how well of a job we did but looks pretty good to me all right one strap be done and it is longer which is perfect four inches longer to me is perfect and it's even gonna be even longer because I didn't fold it over an inch and I don't need to because you're not going to see this because now it's not going to be an open seam. And that's why they had you do it that way. So you couldn't see the raw edge of the strap. You get what I'm saying? Now this will be hidden inside the lining. We don't have to, so we're going to have it actually a much longer handle, which I'm really glad about. I don't like them too short like that. Because, you know, if you're carrying a few things out, you could put that slide it on your arm while carrying other stuff. But when it's this short, this is pretty short to carry. You know, it's too, too bulk. I don't know. I don't like it like that. So. We will do it our way. Longer straps, and I mean, this was a leftover piece of fabric, so it's not it, it, it's not like you're wasting fabric because you're using it for the handles, but you are also making your straps a little longer, which I dig. And I'm trying not to iron over my crease I just made. 
So I'm just trying to be diligent about that. Okay. Good, good. Strapping. Now, like I said, this is the strapping I bought from Amazon, and it's much thinner. Very good cotton. It's a herringbone tweed on it. So it's really nice. It's soft. It's easy to sew on. And I'm going to be using it like I did in the other handles. So you basically want to reopen up one of your sides. And I would say to put it about an inch away from the raw edge, just so uh, it doesn't quite have to be an inch. I'd say half inch, just enough so it's not caught into, it's not creating a whole bunch of thickness. So you want to run it all the way down inside of this little guy here. I don't need these now. Ooh, they make your fingers sweat. There. And again, I will link below. where I purchased this. And this is nice because I can sew right over top of it and not bust the needle, or bust the back. Okay, so you do have to trim this. And I'm gonna trim it about a half an inch away. So there's my strapping is in there. Or you could use, you can use interfacing, you can use fusible facing, interfacing. I'm just using this strapping because it's perfect. It's not, it's not a killer on your needle or your machine. Easy to sew. Blessing. And this is 50 yards. So I'll probably need another one to do all my projects. So I'm going a half inch away just to make it easier. Um, on this the machine when I sew the bottoms together and then we'll pin our straps on and get them sewed on oh wait no I have to see I have to actually no that's another thing I don't like I want to show you something I've decided not to out, outline not to stitch these and I'm going to show you why probably not going to be able to see it super good in my camera but you'll have an idea as to what I'm talking about. Now, if you were to, here, hang on. Okay. So, 
about a half inch. All right. Now, if I was to stitch this close, you see, and then go up the other side of it, like normally that's what you would do. Oh, but I have to. Never mind. Oh, and I don't like doing that. Ah, it's shit. It's shitty. I have to. See there, that's really nice strapping compared to this thick stuff. Look at how thick this is. That's what was busting the seams was that. All right. Let's go back to my sewing machine. All right, let's do some sewing. Let's put some brown thread in. I might run out of thread. I might have to re-thread a bobbin. Cut that off. String this and tie these two together. God, this thread is so um, cheap looking. I probably have a better quality one that I could use. Sure I do. Alright, so we're just going to pull this through. Because I am too lazy to thread all this machine again. Including that knot. The knot should pull through. There we go. I did. You need to switch out your bobbin. thread for some reason. Let me just check. I am sure I must have a better quality brown thread than this china shit. Seriously, I must have ordered some in the almond. That's stupid if I didn't. High time I order some brown thread and not the China shit. I want to get it in more of the bag have any brown in it? Nope, no luck. No brown. I'm gonna have to use the garbage thread. It sucks for. No brown thread. Well, I've got this cheap stuff. I have another spool of it, too. All right, there's my foot pedal. Took it off. Like it always does. You're talking. I can't hear you. Why can't you hear me? No. What? You're really low, low, low. What, Jeff? Well, I don't know. Let me go see.
Is that any better? Yes. Okay, but I'm going to go robotic. Mark my words. And you see how easy peasy it is to sew over that strapping? Nice. As they say, thin is in. Yeah. Or I just made it up either way. Thank you, Nan, for confirming. What? She said she couldn't hear you either. So oh. she was helping confirm. Bitch. <sighs> Came out of the needle. Yeah, I wasn't going to do the double seams because when you sew this on, you got to sew over top of your stitching. But if you don't do this right now, the very top part of your handles won't have, they won't be sewn down. That's why you can't do it. Right. You can't, you can't get away with it. <laughs> I just tried. <coughs> And I'm sewing an eighth of an inch instead of a skinny inch because I want to make sure I catch both where it closes. Sometimes they're not quite matched up and you don't catch the other side. Nan, are you going to make one of these lunch boxes? What, Martha? I asked Nan if she was going to make one. Oh. And she's stuck. And 
And I'm going to try to refresh. Martha left. That wasn't you, Martha. I don't know what happened. I says, I'm going to refresh. And then it's like, oh, man, it's going to boost me right out. <laughs> it was me. I lost internet for a minute, for a second. But I'm surprised it came back. <laughs> okay. So to put your straps on, you need friction pan, a marking tool of some kind, and your ruler. And their instructions say six inches from this side, oops, from this side in. So we'll measure six inches. And we're just going to put a mark there. We are also going to do the same thing up here. We're going to measure in six inches. And we'll just put a mark there. Same on this side. Six inches. And mark six inches over here as well. Now, from the top, it says three and a half. But because I, sew I sewed a quarter of an inch already, we're going to go down three and a quarter. Okay? So let's go down three and a quarter. One, two, three, and one quarter. One, two, three, and one quarter. And draw a line like this. Okay? Same over here. One, two, three, and one quarter. And you're going to draw a line like so. Okay? Like that. Make sure it's a little X so you can see it. Then you're going to take one of your straps. Make sure you don't have it twisted. And you're going to line up on the inside of your line. So say right there and right there. So you can still see your your mark right there. For, okay, and we're just going to shove some pins in here. Look at how easy the pins go through this strapping. Now I'm going to stick a pin right across where my, my uh, mark is. And I'm on this side. So just make sure your strap is straight. Put a couple of pins in there. Like so, straight as it could be. And then make sure it's not twisted up top. Look how much longer my handles are. Oh my God, that's going to be so much better. It's like I said, especially for a man. And then you're going to put your pins in here as well. And then you're going to pin across here where your three and a quarter inch marking is. And then put a couple of pins here. And then we're good. Now what we're going to do is stitch over top of our stitch line here. So keeping in mind, we've still got the brown on. We're also going to top stitch, ouch, ooh, top stitch our zipper because I have the brown thread on that. So let's get this sewed. Make sure you don't have your lining attached in this. Are you going to regroup? Because you want no holes to keep the cool air in. Yes. Try not to put any holes. Start on the rightest side of your thing. And I'll show you how to do that. Because we are putting an X. Make sure you backstitch. And make sure you pull out these pins. So try to stay on your stitching line. Mind you, it's kind of impossible sometimes to get that exact. But I do my best. Now I'm up to here. No, I'm not at my thing yet. Sorry. Now when you get to your your three and a half in, or three and a quarter inch mark, which I can see, where is it? Right here. 
going to go up. Where is it? I shouldn't have took that. Okay. You're going to go and pivot. And you're going to sew straight across. Right to your next stitch. Oh, shoot. I should have measured. Oh, where's my white marker? My white pen. You need to go down an inch. Forgot to do this. Okay. So, ow. Draw your lines. it would be a lot easier. I'm going to lift that up. It's going to be easier for me. Ow. Jesus. Quit picking yourself with the needles. Freaking pins, man. I hate them. Okay. Or pins, I should say. And then we'll mark an inch down. I forgot to do this. It's important because you're making your X in that one inch box. Oh, damn those pin pokes. Or murder. All right. Now you're going to sew. I think I could go one more stitch. There we go. So am I going to go this way, this way, this way, this way, and back down? Yes. Okay. So you're going to go on a diagonal. You're going to sew across from corner to corner from that one inch mark. Then you're going to flip it back around. You're going to sew across your line you drew. Right to your other stitch. I think that's good. You're going to draw another X. And then you're going to re-sew over top, which that is really good because the top here gets double sewed. And then you're just going to go right back down because now you've made your X. So follow your hand. Your Okay. And no worry about bulk. So this here, that double seam here, that really helps with your the weight. You know what I'm what I'm saying? So here's what we created. can't even see it okay well you can see it over there gives okay. it more support yes so it don't rip out you have to do that x okay and do it in a one inch box because that'll give you a really nice size of a reinforcement okay so number two now can't wait to get rid of these damn pins poke the heck out of me. I never... Yeah, that's I nice never, looking, Ruby. I never see... seem to stitch perfectly over my stitching. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's really hard to do. Buy pins. No more pokes. Oh shoot, I forgot to do the other one. Go across the top and get a double. But we can. We will. We still will. Making sure nothing's getting snagged underneath that. Okay. And then we'll just turn it around and sew right back across it and down this side. And 
not is not. Your handles are much bigger. Look at this. Way better. Okay. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do my top stitching. So let me open this up. <clears throat> I want to get this done and over with. So I'm going to top stitch this piece. Make sure you pull it nice and snug out from underneath. And you got to make sure your top stitching does not go past that half inch mark. So if you feel comfortable doing it, I'm just going to put a thing in here, a couple of pins in here because I love pin pokes. Yeah. Yeah, why not? Just Poke because. me all the pieces. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, and I'm going to draw the half inch mark again here because I don't want to top stitch over that. Okay, that's good there. Stretch your fabric on the bottom and on the top to pull that seam open. And then I'm going to shove my zipper foot on real quick so I can get nice and close to there. Okay. So we've got this, this, Make sure I don't go past that. <clears throat> you will understand why you can't go past that. Okay. Get rid of those. Get my zipper foot on real quick. Cynthia, good afternoon. Hi, Cynthia. What has Cindy been doing lately? Okay, so put this down. Get rid of that. And I want to sew as close as I can to the zipper. And I'm going to bring my needle down at that half inch mark. Right there. And... We are going to turn this to two and a half, three quarters. Okay. Just keeping everything nice and close and top stitched. I went a little crooked there, but I don't care. Nobody's going to sit there and go, Oh, look, you made a crooked sling. Oh, did I? Sorry. Owl pins. And we'll start about there. Drop it down. Everything's in my way. <laughs> Can't you see?
All right. Done with the zipper. Take that foot off. My regular foot back on. And we're good to go. I use my zipper foot for almost everything. You do? Yeah. Oh. All right. Time to put the other strap on. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pin my strap down. Where are those pins? I already got a pin ready. Put the pin more. Because these will get in your way. And you really don't want them in your way, believe me. Okay. No pin folks. And I need this for the other strap. Okay, now, again, we're going mark to and measure, measure and mark, mark yes. and measure, and measure Six and mark. Inches over. Six inches over. Six inches. inches and inch three inch and a quarter hi Lynn hi Lynn three inches and a quarter done all right so let's get there How's your arm doing, Lynn? Yeah. Okay, making sure this is not twisted. I'm going to line it up on this side there also. And just a couple of things down here. And once again, Mark our lines, a one inch watch. Arm not bad, thank you. Starting to walk with a frame. Oh, nice. All right, done. This time I ain't screwing up. <laughs> At least not this time. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to stitch right over top of your stitch line. Which I'm no good at doing. <laughs> I don't know why. Either I sewed it crooked or I'm sewing crooked. Let's say you're sewing crooked. <laughs> I I would have to agree with you, Martha. Ah, <laughs> shift. I sewed that on. That don't matter. But this part does matter. Okay. Diagonal. Diagonal. Across. 
vamos. And straight on down. too sure I like that right here so I don't I'm just gonna retack this right here because I sewed it with I sewed it with um three inch length stitch and that's just way too long of a stitch all right, <clears throat> next one, last one. Now we could start putting this bag together. No pokey pokey. Nope. One thing a dingy. Two thing a dingy. pins. Now this is your diagonal. Then you go straight across. I love the feature of needle down. Oh my god, I love that. What? When you can put your needle down. Oh, yeah. Do you have that option? Yeah. Yeah. All right. And then the it's a very good one. option to have on a sewing machine. Yes. All machines have that now except the old ones. Because my Kenmore is what? 15 years old and it has that feature and it came with that feature. All right. We're on the home stretch now. Race to the finish line, and who's going to win? The machine won, yay. The machine won, eh? And that, my friends, is your straps. Look at that. Hey. So while I have it here, I'm going to pin it down, because I don't want to get in my way of this next crucial part. I think I'm going to take a little break. I'm going to go have a smoke for this next part because it's going to be an effing nightmare. And what is the next part? Well, actually this part here is not not the worst. It's it's this part here sewing this. So I make sure I do a quarter inch seam. So this is where your only bulkiness is, is this double strapping here. But that's why I said not to put your strapping all the way to the end. Now, you see these raw edges? These will be hidden. Right now, as it stands, they are not hidden in these bags. And I don't like that. I just think it looks so unprofessional. Honestly, that's my opinion. But look how awful this looks oh, it's just awful look at this it seems everywhere oh no and no zipper pulls what, what did you use for the bottom piece that you keep taking out of it oh that's what I need it um, Robotic. I knew it. 
Yep, he did. Any better? Yeah, but can't hear you. Uh, how about that? Yes. Okay. Anyway, um, it's this is the piece that we're gonna make. That go. It's a piece of cutting board, plastic cutting board that I cut to make it. They Plastic gave, cutting board. Now, where did you get that at? The dollar store. It's this here. It's this cutting board right here. And oh. Yeah, and it's the one with the no grip on the bottom, so this won't move around. And they they come in single packages, so i got to go get more because I'm making a bunch of these, and you only get two per cutting board. So you'll get two pieces. I did this just to make it easier to pull out of your bag, you know, I thought it would make it easier. And then I made the cover and I have fabric over here to make the cover for the other bag. And then it just sits Whoa, inside. Thank you for the idea. No, it's Hi, Jan. Hi, Jan. No, this comes in the kit, Martha. You get a flimsy piece of plastic in the kit. No, I, uh, somebody wanted me to make her a purse. And I've been trying to think of how to make a bottom like that. And the cutting is board what, is excellent. This is what came in the kit for your bag. But it's very flimsy. So when you put a lunch on that, that's going to Yeah, that ain't going to work. No. So I'm using, I cut up, see, I cut up four, I cut up two, two things. And I got myself four four pieces with two cutting boards so I can make nice. four bags. So actually I'm going to leave one out and I just use their measurements, but it's actually only seven inches wide. So you can, it doesn't really matter. It's a seven inch piece. Well, the one they gave you would be perfect for miniatures for frosted windows. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it would. But these here, where's my, and these here, is the cover that's going to house this that's going to sit inside of the, the bag see sweet yeah very nice so I, okay i think that's going to look really nice it looks really nice with this fabric this oh blue. yeah it's a pretty blue so hold it up to the camera so you can see it oh pretty yeah so that's what's going to house that. okay well thanks for the idea you're welcome it's a good idea and a nice stiff one because I'll tell you what, if your lunch is heavy, because lunches are heavy, some of them, this is not going to collapse on you or this way when you're carrying your lunch, you know? Yeah, especially if you got a three pound burrito in there. Well, that, <laughs> <laughs> not only that, <laughs> three pound burrito, <laughs> that's something Jeff would definitely eat, but if say your lunch is really heavy. It's not going to collapse on the bottom for you, and all your lunch isn't going to go like this together. <laughs> right. You know, this is to prevent that. So there are several things that I changed in this bag that will make your head spin. But I think it, I, I, I still, I'm ashamed of this. I am, <laughs> I ne when do you guys ever see me make something with exposed seams and leave it? I can't, I can't wrap my head around this. I just can't wrap my head around this. So this is why, and I can't wrap my head around this open zipper, this part here, all of this. I just can't, I can't, I, I, this is not professional. You imagine making this and selling and saying, here you go. Here's your open seamed bag. No. I, and look, no zipper pull, so you have to hold that. That's a pain. Well, that right there, you could put in your car to carry your dog food, cat food. You know, if oh, you're I, I'm probably places. just going to keep this as just a bag for myself, uh, my own lunch. Well, that's Maybe what I'm saying. I'm saying, you know, is, you can use that for anything. See all these lines in here? All the quilting lines, every single step you took to put a stitch in, that left a hole. Yep. So air, air escapes that. Yep. I'm preventing it in this. 
I am using no quilting on my lining whatsoever. This lining, the only thing that's going to be in here are your seams. But again, your seams are going to be professionally hidden inside. You're not going to see any seams anywhere. This will be a finished inside. Nothing. Nothing crappy like this. So I'm, I'm not saying it's crappy. It's just this is good enough for it's somebody. It's unfinished. It's very unfinished and it's very unprofessionally uh, done inside and with no zipper pulls. Like I put, I put a charm on it. That's a cute charm. I'm still going to put a charm on it because the zippers are really tiny. Yeah. For every Definitely hole. I need you, a charm. Yeah. For every hole that you put in this, you create every stitch you put in this, you create a hole. I'm, I'm not even bullshitting. And when you squish the bag like this, you can feel the air where it comes out. So I can feel it, especially coming out where all this quilting is. So that's why I'm not quilting the lining. The lining staying fresh. This is the part that's going to be inside the bag. Look at this. Nice finished zipper. No, no raw edges. Uh-uh. Nope. No can do. Trial and error. Well, no. Right I mean, I followed their pattern. I showed you guys how to do their pattern, but their pattern is not finished. It's not a finished piece. Anyway, I'm going to go take my break, come back, sew these bottoms up, and pray to God that when I go to sew this to this, that... I'm going to double check this, make sure it's about a quarter inch because yesterday that was an issue for me when I sewed the bag. These did not match up. I had to take the whole thing apart at the bottom. Then wouldn't it be wise just to cut like an extra quarter inch on them? No, no. I want to just make sure. I want to make sure it's a quarter of an inch. And because this part is very important to me. Why is this shorter? I need to pull this one a bit more. Just a tad bit. There we go. Let's see if that makes. I want this centered with my zipper. So I would say quarter of an inch. Yep. That is going to work on this one here. So we did this side. And same thing over here. This is so important. that we match these up because I'll tell you what I did not enjoy doing that yesterday taking this all apart so it's overlapping about a quarter inch okay awesome so my my seams are quarter inch their seams are half inch everywhere so mine are exactly a quarter of an inch so that's what I'll be sewing when I come back. Quarter of an inch across the bottom here and across the bottom of my lining, but separate, not together. Okay. When I come back from my little break here. There. All right. And don't forget, we have to leave a big hole. We have to leave a big hole here to turn our bag out. On the other one, you don't have to do that because the other one is exposed seams. So you don't have to worry about that. Imagine that. This one, we have to leave. I'm going to leave hmm, a good one, two, three, a good six inch opening. And why? Uh, it's it's a bulky bag and, it, and it's not a big deal to sew up a six inch seam on your machine. So but you're going to leave an opening in your lining part. 
Oh, this is going to look so much better, guys. I'm already pumped. It took me a little bit of time to figure out the the amount of fabric I needed to between the zipper and this seam here. And it worked out <clears throat> perfectly. Oh, I'm going to do the walk of life. You could probably fix that. There we go. Okay, I have my little break. Oh. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, let's sew our one quarter inch. Am I robotic again? Now, I'm going to pin this, not pin it, but put some clips in here. I'm working through several layers. And I kind of want to match up my straps. Mind you, who cares? It's not really going to be noticeable inside anyway, but I just like to have it nice like that. And I put my clip upside down. So did I do it with that one? And put one here. And let's so oops, let's change our thread back to white because we are done done with the brown. No, oh, there you go. Cut that off. Join these two, the white and the brown. I just tie a little knot. And it pulls right through my needle, this little tiny knot. Let's put you back. <coughs> you back. Let's sit that there. Let's pull this through. It threads it for me. And through the needle. And it is threaded. Ha, ha, ha. Easy peasy. All right. You can go over there. Wow, I still have stuff left on that bobbin. How great that is. Okay. Okay. 
in we go. Pull up my bobbin, and we're good to go now. <clears throat> okay. Quarter of an inch. And we're going to back stitch. Remember, these are several layers here. So I got it at one and a half inch. And I'm going to keep it consistent. Now, when I get to these straps, I'm going to back stitch over and over just. couple of times to be secure there because straps can be a lot of weight on them. Done. Now we're going to do the same with the lining. We're going to line our lining up and we're going to leave about a six inch turning hole. So, quarter of an inch. And then back stitch. Okay. okay. That's about. I'm just <laughs> guesstimating six inches here, maybe more. Who knows? Back stitch there because that's a lot of pressure when turning the bag inside out. All right, that's done. Start with that. Do that. Yeah. Do that. I mean, you don't have to trim off all these threads, but it's worth it. Now, the, the fun part. Um, he had more. Oh, he had more? Yeah. Uh, what is that? Yeah, that's Oh, good, they came in. Here are my rectangles. Yay, now I can make my Osola bag. This is what we need for the Osol Osolo bag. This came from Amazon.com. Yay. I am so pumped about that. Now I've got all my stuff to make my Osola craft bag. For my retreat okay now this is the tricky part food. oh tia's food came food. okay now pay close attention let me get up closer because i really don't want you guys to to get your shit tied in a knot when we're doing this okay hopefully you can see me very well here is our lining. Now, what you want to do is you want to take your lining and this part right here, and you want to fold it back and pin it right there. Fold that lining back. Don't touch it. Okay? All right. So I'm going to fold my lining back here as well and put a clip in it just to keep it out of my face. I need that folded back. And I'm only pinning my lining. Okay. Not anything else. Pin that lining. Get, just keep it out of your way of this. All right. Now, I want to take your two pieces here 
and look at that it fits perfect oh oh the dream and you're going to put a clip in there i'm going to put a clip in there now you're going to insert your your um pull tab pull pull tab kind of there i i don't want it too long so i'm actually going to put it right about there all right so we're going to pin that down pin that our pull tab has to be nice and straight so that looks about good there now i'm really actually going to put a pin in there because i feel like that's going to move on me so let's put a pin in there okay now we're going to sew this three eighths of an inch okay make sure you don't sew your lining don't screw it up so three eighths of an inch for me is between the black and the red you want to take a back stitch or two for sure all right now i'm coming i'm approaching where my metal zipper part is don't hit that with your needle now you want to do go back and forth over your zipper very carefully okay and then carry on all right that's parts done okay now before we do the other side we're going to finish this okay this is the hard part right here is So I'm going to trim this off because this part here is driving me nuts too long. There's no scissors. <clears throat> the pull tab can get trimmed. Now, just want to sew I'm going to flip it over because this part we have to pull this part back. Okay. This is really hard here. What am I doing here? I am so scared I'm going to hit that zipper. Doesn't Wait, let me see if I'm doing this right. I need this food to that. But I am seriously going to be hitting. Now that part there is super bulky, but you have to pin this. You have to hold this back. You've got to keep it out of your face. The top layer. Okay. 
I'm just going to roll this back. Roll this down. So thick, like that. Hold those seams open. I am seriously, seriously going to hit that metal thing on the zipper. Got to be very careful <laughs> when doing this. I got to make sure I don't hit that. I got to go on the side of it. And I think that's going to be really impossible. But that's just the way I have to do it. Okay. That's just the way. It's just the way. I just have to be careful. Yeah. Now, give you a close up. I don't know, can you see? I'm folding this top one back. And I'm pinning it so it doesn't get in my way. All right. All right, let's do it. This part here gets sewed at a quarter of an inch. Exactly a quarter of an inch. Might not even let you do a quarter of an inch. Just do your best. The worst part for me is where this zipper pull is. Stopper. And I'm going to stretch it, stretching this. And making sure I don't hit it. Oh my God, it did it. All right. Phew. Quarter of an inch. Quarter of an inch. All right. Ta -da. Now we can trim this off. Don't need that. <coughs> no worries of that. So that is all finished beautifully inside now I think let me just have a double check let's just open this up let me just make sure what I'm doing is right there's the zipper pull Ooh, that was kind of small but at least there's something there all right now this part here we have to open up the zipper anyway Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Mm. I could see this. This pull. Let me just see. I don't think that's right. No, because this gets boxed. So this will get hidden, but this part won't. What did I do? Oh, I know what I did. What a goof. Okay. You sewed the wrong pieces together? Yes, I have to take this apart. Shit. Okay. I see what I did, and I'm glad I didn't go further. All right. Anyway, make sure your zipper's wide open. 
because if you have a closed zipper, you're going to be in big cockapoo. All right, so let's take this out. I see what I did wrong. I forgot to sew it to this piece. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Those are the two pieces you had to sew together. Oh, my God. Good thing anyways. Look how that stitched. All right. So I just pull this open, snip a few of the lower stitches that are not back tacked, and I can get my scissors in there and take out that back stitching without damaging the fabric. There we go. Let's make sure I'm taking out the right one. No, I took out the wrong stitch. Lynn wants to know how many you're looking to make for your craft fair. Um, 22. When's your craft fair? In November. This is the seam I want to take out, not the other one. I got to restitch that, but it's only a little area. This one here is the mistake. Duh, I knew something wasn't working out right, didn't look right. So, best to catch it now before it's all sewed, and then you'll be screaming at me. Um, hmm. um, I can't even see where I did this. Right here. There we are. And I've already trimmed off my zipper, but it's still okay because my stopper is still in there. So I don't have to worry. About anything of that nature. My hundred times going back and forth <laughs> is not going to pay off. I don't know. Should just undo the whole thing. Yep. I think I'm screwing this up. Oh no. Yeah, that's the right one. All right. <laughs> Wow, lots of threads. I really back tacked this like crazy. There we go. I got a feeling I'm undoing the wrong one, but that's okay. Just keep on going. Finish what you, it's this seam here that I need to get apart. Took the wrong one apart. Damn it. I'm going to undo this. This is the one I needed to undo. Get out of here. And you can see my fabric folded over here anyway. There we go. Now, fix your moustache. Pull all your threads out. I'll just retack all this down. 
awareness. It's like, why is this not working? Something didn't seem. So, we need to focus back, touch up my mistake here. I'm just going to re sew it, hell of it. You go, Ruby, you go. Yeah. I'm going to sit here and cut my boxes apart. And then I'm going to rinse down my walls because I did my sanding. All right. Now you're fixed. Get out of my way. Parts reset. This part here and this part is the zipper that you need to sew. None of the other. This is the tricky part. Ah, there we go. Now let me just line all this back up. Put some clicks in. That has to be sewed at three quarters. Or sorry, one quarter of an inch. So this stuff here, I'm just gonna have to just work at it. And hold it back. This here is the part you need to sew. All right. Make sure it's right up there. And there. Here we go. Quarter inch all the way. This is the tricky part. Easy till you get to this bulk shit. Don't hit it with your needle. Ah. It worked. Now this will work. Okay, we got her, Pontiac. Phew, there we By go. Golly, George, she's got it. Let's have a look at it now. Let's see if it's exactly what I wanted. Oh, wow, that pull is very tiny. Pull these threads out. There is some threads that I did not get. But that zipper pull is pretty small. Too small, actually. Oh, well. I cut too much off. Okay. So now, when we open this up, aha! No open seams now. Just some back tacking there. Perfect. 
That is it. That is what I didn't want in the first place. All right. So we got to leave our zipper open now. <laughs> there you go, Nan. She's saying, yay. <laughs> yes. Okay. You know. Move this back. You know, I know I haven't really looked at material a lot lately, but you used to be able to buy gobs of quilted material already quilted. I don't know if they still have that or not. Yeah. All right. So let's fold this back. We don't want to sew this lining yet. Fold this back. This is why you left that half inch. Right? Right. Well, that's done. Now, and I didn't cut myself. Yay. <laughs> Were you expecting to? Uh, usually with a dull knife, yeah. <laughs> a dull knife? Why? Well, it's a pocket knife. It's been used for lots of things. All right. Just have, I need to get out a wet stone and sharpen them. Uh, yeah. So where's my other zipper pull? Oh, God knows what I did with it. Oh, yeah. Probably on the floor. Hello? Yep, it is. Now, this one, I'm not going to leave it short. This one here, we'll leave it a little bit longer. And I'm going to put a pin in that on this side. And what do I want to do with the cheese spots? It's too thin. So we will okay. just fold that up and forget about it. Now, this is the part where we pray our zipper. We don't want your zipper to spread open. At all. So line it up center it the best you can and I'm working too hard or it's starting to get warm in here I would say it's starting to get warm in here yeah it's probably starting to get warm in there Martha yep I think so. Okay. Line it up with the zipper stopper. Line it up. And line that up. And my zipper is wide open. Okay, making sure. Because if that's not open, I'm screwed. Once this bag's done. Alright. Here we go. Three eighths. out now because that got so down all 
Okay, now let's do the proper way now. So I don't have to worry about that damn zipper pull. Thank God for that. I do need to fold this back. I'm going to just pull that with my fingers. Pull that back. And then we'll sew this one quarter of an inch. as you can. Match that up. And that. There we go. So this part here, you're going to push it with all your might out of your way. to watch that show uh, naked and afraid and you know what tickles me so funny is the what? girls that wear fake eyelashes on it <laughs> oh. Oh. oh my god let's try this again Hello. that's crazy yep yeah. Good enough. All right. The next <coughs> is done. Done, done, done. We will press all these seams open after we get this done. So now we have to box eight corners. Okay. You have to do eight separate corners. So all you do is open this up. And it should, and I like to do this with the seam open. Just creates, actually, no, let's do it this way. I could see it's going to reduce bulk doing it this way. All right. So I'm only going to do quarter inch seams. All eight corners. <laughs> That's done. Grab this corner. You can hear. So remember, whichever way you went down on this side, you're going to go down on this side. Same way. You're going to sew your seam in the same way. Okay. <clears throat> if this ever wants to lay. Flat. All right. Give me a headache there, but. That way. One. 
So which way is better this way? Last one on the designer fabric. No seams, guys. There is no exposed seams. How is that even possible, Ruby? I don't know. This seems like it's cut crooked. Let's fix that. Here we go. Lining, same thing. Um, pushing this this way. All right, I'm gonna have to. This one is a lot flimsier, so I'm not quite lining up. These are not working out. So I'll just cut it. One done. One ringy dingy. One ringy dingy. Two ringy dingy. You know what? Something tells me it's wider here. Yep. I need to fix this a wee bit. So that these match up because they're not matching up. There we go. Is that any better, bitches? Which way? There. Not really. Not really at all. Open that up. <sighs> These corners were not square. Yeah, it's, yeah, Nan, it is. Lily Tomlin was the phone operator. One ringy dingy. Oh my God! Yes. I've always thought that was Minnie Pearl, but I guess not. No, nope, it was Lily Tomlin. 
All right, I have to go over a bit. It is hot in my room. Minnie Pearl, she was on the Grand Old Opry. Yes, she was. I used to like to watch that show. Yes. Edith Ann. Oh, yeah. I remember Edith Ann sitting in that big old rocking chair. All right. Two more nightmares. They have to be so like that. For some reason, you just don't want to line up. Laughing was just a good show all around. Yes, I used to like laughing too, and hee haw. Yeah. Remember hee haw? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just a picking and a greening. Yeah. Did you ever watch Lawrence Well? Yes. I did too. <laughs> I loved how them ladies they all danced and the beautiful dresses and Yep. And the music. Mm-hmm. Yep. Flashback. Those were the olden days. Sure were. Okay, this one last one is going to give me a headache. No, you're not. I'm not going to allow it. Oops. Laughing, the one that I really remember a lot of, kind of is, uh, I think it was Eddie Gibson, is that his name? He played the old man, he'd sit on the park bench, and then the other lady had that air net on, and she'd whop him with the bag. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Love We're done with this. Let's turn it all inside out, inside right. See how good of a job I did. My grandma's in the summertime. We had our baths and then snack of the evening watching Lawrence Welk. Yep. Ruth Buzzy. Yes, Nan, Ruth Buzzy. Yep, Ruth Buzzy. Okie doke. Now, before we close up our seams, let's push out all our corners. See how good we did boxing this. Wow, it's not as bulky. I like it this way for sure. Yeah. Yep, it's working. Sure do. Look at this, guys. No shit. No shite? No shite? No, no seams. Oh, my goodness. Oh, <laughs> I was going to say, what is wrong with these handles? <laughs> Lots. They're pinned. I pinned them just so we didn't accidentally sew them in somewhere in one of these seams, which is very easily done. All right, so we do have a little pull tap here. It's actually bigger. 
leaving it this. I gotta put the box in the bottom, but and I gotta press all those seams. And look at this, a pull tab. Hey. Pull tab. Uh-huh. All right. So we have it's to so dark in there. Yes. So needs to press I press this. Um stitch this shut. Of all those. I know something else that might sell at a craft show too is like having your iPad, yeah. you know, a case for your iPad and whatever. I yeah. bet a lot of people buy them up because a lot of people really do not know how to sew. Hmm. Using my lips to do that. Just do quarter inch. Close this up. Now, normally you would use a Oh, you thing. want robotic. Ah! Jesus! What the hell? Thinking your computer don't like you very much. I don't think it likes me either. Testing. Testing. One, two, three. That works. That work. All right. Okay. Normally I would change to round but I'm this is hidden inside so just gonna do a nice little thing let me see here just to close it up on of these, which I haven't pressed a single seam, is, let's get these in the corners where they rightfully belong, pushed out. That is bigger. Somehow I made this bigger. I guess it's because I didn't use half inch seams. That'll do it. Yes. All right, let's sew this piece. It's like sometimes when I make a fleece shirt, you know, you're supposed to sew five eighths inch seams and I just sew along the edge of my zipper foot or whatever. Yeah. Is to make it that much bigger, more roomier. Yep. I take all these seams and I'm going to give them a little pressy. Hopefully, 
hopefully that works. And let go. As soon as this done is heating up. Keep everything nice. Take too long to heat up. Ooh. Oops. Yeah, you kind of want to give all these a little crisp. It helps keep it nice and neat and boxed. Move everything out of my way. So I can give that a press. I was too lazy to do it earlier. There. Now, let's add this. Okay. Come on, Emma. Here. I need to fold quarter of an inch over. I like this ruler. And then Need to fold a quarter of an inch again. Yeah, them rulers really come in handy with humming. Yes. Nan, where do you keep disappearing to? You've been drinking too much coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a quarter of an inch. Right. Nan's Houdini today. She keeps disappearing and then poof, she's back. Yeah. says I'll share a medical issue I have. I've had four colon surgeries. Oh dear oh, Nan. No. Ouch. Okay. Perfect. Now well, bless your heart. Yes. Oopsies. Now just match these up. little clip in it. This one too. 
I don't even need it because I'm just going to sew now. Quarter of an inch. And it's done. And back to <laughs> An inch Then my last colon surgery, they removed all the colon, and I've had a ileostomy, ileostomy for five years. It's basically a prosthetic colon. Wow. Wow. Yeah. And she has to have ostomy supplies. Well, you poor girl. Mm -hmm. So sorry, man. Especially on the ends. Turn it inside out. My bet has changed your whole life. Yeah, I bet so. Why did you have so many colon surgeries? Was it cancer related? If you don't mind me asking. Okay. When you have a ileostomy, you need to empty your pouch a lot. Yeah, I can imagine. That would scare me from meeting a lot. Which in my case could probably have been a good thing. <laughs> All right. Insert is done. My colon quit working and my pelvic floor was not functioning properly. Oh, okay. I don't like how that sticks out. But anyway, we're going to put it in here. I'm 
actually, this is not even big enough. I don't know how this got bigger, but it's like eight inches across. It's a whole inch bigger. Anyway, it's good enough. She is it done? Yes, it is done. And look at how much wow. longer the straps are. Much better. Much longer. Looks Check great. That out. Zipper pull, <coughs> sealed, and completely, completely hidden inside. No seams showing. None. Zippo. No seams. No yucky looking seams. Yay. Zipper pull. Zipper is gone. Hidden. Everything is all hidden inside. So, <clears throat> I am appreciating this very much. My husband's box, lunch box is bigger than mine. So, anyway, look at how perfect. So that one's Jeff's? Yep, with the deer. This is so nice. Yeah, it looks really nice, good. Yeah. A miniature duffel bag. Basically, yeah. So cute. I like this. I really do. And I really prefer the much easier, well, they're not easier, but the much nicer finished edges. But make sure you iron as you go because I didn't do that. And it made it harder. So you can see my seams didn't even match up here. But anyway, who's going to be looking at that? Right? Right. Yep. Perfectly. I'm going to cut him a bigger board and a bigger piece of fabric. Yeah. Yeah, because his is eight inches wide and that, that board's only seven inches. Although it's still... Nice size handle compared to this one. Look at the difference in size. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Very good, very good. Very good. Very, very good. See, it's bigger than this one. And it, it's much more squared off. And Yes. There we go. Go, go, we're off to work. We go. I like the longer handles, I tell you. I really do. And I like the little tiny zipper pull here. No. <laughs> yep. I like Good those. enough to put your three pound burrito in. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff can hold a six pound burrito. Yeah, I bet. Oh, yeah. He loves burritos. I don't. No, thank you. Look at these cute box there. There's the difference in size. <laughs> Here's his. There. That's mine. That's his. Pretty big. Oops, my thing fell. Anyway. <laughs> Although this way, it's a little more sturdier than this. I don't know why. I think it's because this one is made too big. This one is not so much. It's a little sturdier. I don't know why. It's because there's no bulky seams. It's because you have an inside. The piece inside is too small. No, I'm just saying you've got your your inside piece of material. But one just... thing's for sure is there ain't a whole lot of leakage in here now. You know what I mean? There's no yeah. quilting lines, so there's nothing. You just put your lunch on here, put your ice pack in there, zipper up. That is not going to get air escaping into it, allowing it to cool quicker or melt. Right. Anyway, I really like these. They turned out cute. I don't like how much bigger Jeff's is. I want to stick with this size, so I'm going to have to do some adjusting on my next ones I make. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do that. 
yeah, definitely have to adjust them. And maybe sew the half inch like it says. And shorten this piece in here. Yeah. Shorten this piece here. Because it is a bit wider than this one. By a long shot. Let's see. Oh, it's like a whole half inch wider. So, yeah. That's what I'll do. I'll make my adjustments in the zipper pull. Or the zipper. Anyway, I'm going. Okay. Thank you guys for joining you me. You ladies have a good evening. I hope day. that tomorrow I can start my two Osola bags, one for my knitting, or sorry, one for my crocheting and one for my retreat. And the pattern is free. And I once I get find it, I'll link it in the video description box so you guys can go download it and make it too. But you have to subscribe to her blog in order to get that pattern. And then you unsubscribe if you don't want to stay on it. <laughs> That's that easy. Okay, guys. Take care. Have a great day. Love you all. Bye. 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 Thank you, Martha. Bye. Bye.